Now heading into the July 4th weekend, so we thought we would get in the spirit and bring back some traditional American oldies but goodies. Katie Brown, entertaining expert, chef, and host of Katie Brown Workshop is here with five classic American dishes with a revitalized twist. Our favorite. Hi, Katie. Hi, nice to see you. So we can actually still wow our guests with traditional favorites. We don't have to get all too fancy, smashy. No, absolutely. And I think when people come into your home for a backyard barbecue or a family reunion or a 4th of July fete, they're really looking for something they recognize <laughs> and something that's comfortable to them and nothing's better than a home baked apple Ooh, pie. Yum, and now, it smells doesn't delicious. Doesn't that smell good? Mm -hmm. And that's just a pre-made cookie uh, pie crust that I've put in some apples, a little bit of cinnamon, but I've baked it with Splenda, so it's a little bit healthier. And between the cinnamon and the Splenda and the, you know, fresh crisp apples of the summertime, it is fantastic. No and a one great can way that. to say welcome. <laughs> exactly. Now potato salad. Mm -hmm. It's kind of boring. It can be. You think mm -hmm. of it as being kind of boring. I say Add a little curry to your Ooh. recipe. Make it a curried potato salad. Put in a little ground, uh, a little cumin, a little a tamarack, a little coriander, or just a whole bunch of curry, and mix that in with the mayonnaise, the Dijon, and it is fantastic. It so sounds that's, good. Yeah, it's a fun little twist on it. And when it comes to coleslaw, one of my favorite <laughs> summertime backyard barbecue dishes, I say don't just make it simple. Take that really, uh, you know, basic bag of shredded cabbage, and then spice it up a little bit mm -hmm. put in some some carrots put in some radishes add in a little bit of a kick put in a little cayenne put in a little Tabasco sauce and Ooh, then mix it, it up spicy exactly give yeah, it a little bit like of that, that fun and it's kind of fun it's kind of different and you'll <laughs> see people will eat it and be like "Ooh, I like this coleslaw it's a little bit different okay so no barbecue is complete without corn on the cob you agree with me I right love you've got to have and one of my favorites especially in the summer the mm -hmm. corn is so wonderful and if you're lucky enough to live near a farm stand or a local market that supports their local farmers and bring in the fresh corn, take advantage of it, grill it up on your backyard uh, barbecue, and when you husk it and you pull back uh, the ears of the corn, mm -hmm. pull all that silky stuff out, and then add in some fresh herbs. It's such a Ooh. great time of year for fresh herbs. Put some fresh thyme in there, put some sage in there, cover it back up, put it on the grill, and then what I like to do, you'll see this right here, this is a little bit of herb butter, mm -hmm. and all I've done is taken your basic stick of butter put it in a blender with some fresh chopped herbs, a little bit of rosemary, a little bit of basil, a little bit of thyme, a little bit of sage, pick one, put them all together, whatever <laughs> you want, mix it up. I even like to put a squeeze of lemon in there and then you put it all on a, and you roll it up in a wax paper, almost like you would a big long row mm -hmm. of cookies that you're going to slice up, put it in the fridge and when you're ready to serve it, slice it up and put it out there with your so corn. So you're making your own butter and it you sounds are, easy. You are, and it's got that little <laughs> bit of herb and that little tang of the lemon in there and and so it dresses up the corn a little bit. And I think another great way to make them feel welcome is lemonade. Mm -hmm. What's better than lemonade? Nothing. And make it sparkle a little bit by putting in some, you know, sparkling soda, whether it be uh, a little bit of 7-Up, a little bit of ginger ale, and mix your lemonade with your limeade, and that's a really fun way to mm -hmm. give your lemonade a little bit of a twist. Throw in some fresh raspberries, fresh strawberries. Um, just think of ways to kind of uh, make it just, just a jazz it up a little just bit. Just jazz it up a little mm -hmm. bit. That's exactly the right word. Okay, Thank so you. Okay, so we got to ask. What is your one party staple that you have at every single party? Okay, you're gonna think <laughs> you're gonna think me odd, but I love to send guests away with a little bit of something special. Ah, I think that's nice. So one thing that's fun to do, especially this time of year when there's so much great, you know, fresh oh. herbs out there that you can get at just about any home store. They're fairly inexpensive. All I do is I just buy it. I keep it right in the packaging, put it in some kind of pretty container, and then put everybody's oh, name. I this love is that. a garden steak that I've just. You can either write people's name on it or you stick on letters and I put those kind of in the center of the table or in the center of my buffet table have one for each guest and it can double as not only a centerpiece but a take home little something. I love that. Isn't Thank that you. neat? And then they yes. can plant it right in the ground and I leave the instruction labels right in there so they can just so they know plant what to do. it and they'll, it's the gift that keeps on giving. Katie, thank you so much. These are all great tips. Oh, thanks Wonderful. a lot. Happy these. summer. Happy we need some summer. lemonade during break. <laughs> exactly. I like that. Okay,